I mean, it'd be kind of hard for Joker to dance given his bird bones, but why not chalk him up while we're here? Jack? How do you think I feel leading you guys around? I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. Oh, Shepard gets to dance again. And I think I just saw Edie up there. <laughs> Absolutely can't dance. That was a sweet little moment, even though Jack dances like a go go dancer. I'm curious, what material is your face made from? The surface is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. That's cool. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. That's funny. Joker, you up here? Joker. He's around here somewhere. I think it's a lower bar. Is that Garrus? Oh no, that's the same guy from before. Joker! Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. Forget my problems, Dan. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? I think it's the best idea ever. <laughs> Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over-the-clothes action? That's always a Plus, she's a robot. She's got precision. She can just get in there without having to. Yeah, never mind. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Me. Please let me see how this plays out. I really want to see this. Gotta get up there. Hey! Shiny girl. Good to see you're still here. Like, I think she's been in every game. That, that outfit just persists. Edie, I'm not sure if you know how this works, but you have to start moving. Haven't broken anything yet. That's a start. Okay, well, I'll leave you two at it, whatever that is. 
Arya, how are things? It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. Since we took back Omega, I've been consolidating my resources for the war. It's a little easier to coordinate from here. So unfortunately, I'll be slumming it on the Citadel for the time being. The Blue Sun's blood pack and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. We'll talk later. She really can't stop saying that line. Okay, well, that was something. It wasn't a lot, but at the very least, I encouraged Joker to hook up with a robot. Really, I think everyone should at least once in their lives. Alright, where is Thane? He's around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drill named Thane Kratos. Well, we have a drill, but not under that name. He was injured, stabbed. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Krios is in the final stages of Kepril's syndrome. At its worst, Kepril's syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen. And he lost a lot. Now, they've given him transfusions. But frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. He's been living on borrowed time for a while. At least he went down fighting. He's not gone yet, but he doesn't have much longer. His son, Kolya, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. And that you were no longer a wannabe hitman. To who? There's something I must do before it gets worse. I must. Alahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Alahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. If that's an exit line? Oh. Not a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? It's not my belief, but it is his, so I'll play along. If only he could die wearing those stupid fucking Gurren Logan sunglasses in the second game. Kolya? There's something I don't understand. His 
last moments were those of a hero. Do I pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Faith. You won't be alone long. I mean, that last part's kind of ominous. Makes it sound like everybody else is about to die right next to him. Oh good. Aren't there two guards right here? You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terranova. Oh, it's you. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. I can't save my people. But I can get you. You know, I don't want to talk this guy down. I do want to kill him, but if he is the highest ranking officer, he can help his people a whole lot better if he's alive. Valak, you sent that asteroid toward Terra Nova to help your people. But what does killing me accomplish? Vengeance. The Bahak system. They would have died anyway when the Reapers showed up. You know that. I'm uniting the Krogan and the Turians. We're the best hope for this galaxy. If you care about your people. Again, the guards nearby have no fucking concern about this. Shepard, are you alright? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Well, that was super annoying. But hey, some Batarians are always going to be helpful. Oh, got hung up on a desk. Hey, Cortez. FS Havenkopf. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. The lives of future generations rest on those Turian shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Alright, well that was a poignant little moment. God, so many things to check out. Oh, hey, Ashley. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. I never wanted to put you in that situation. We're on the same side. I can't believe it came to that. We were so close to... Ash, it's okay. We figured it out. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. 
How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I prefer to ride this thing out before the Normandy. Alright, so if you say no, she joins Hackett's team and becomes a war asset, and as a Spectre, she's pretty good at it. However, I do want her on my team, so... Permission granted. Couldn't do this without you. I'll grab my gear. And Ash? Yeah. It's good to have you back. Yes, sir. Alright, Ashley is now part of the team. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. It could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valor. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of runners with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he should have begun on Omega even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. Great, so he's like the evil me. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. That's handy. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? Picturing a big bubble. How do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Add us out. Commander, the Tyrian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Really? Understood, sir. I haven't heard from them since the start of this. I don't even think I've seen a Quarian since this game started. And the Geth are also going to be a factor, so I guess we're opening up new areas of exploration. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. They didn't ask for help. These coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. I have curiosity. How's my war terminal? Damn. Again, it says 50. It's always saying 50. But. I mean, god damn. I'm. Like, I got everything here. Pretty sure I've also got, uh. Advanced fires. I'm, I thought I had, um. What's it? Uh, Miranda on here somewhere, but I guess not. Also, important thing that I really need to make sure I mention. The journal has codex entries on known uh, people in particular. I'm trying to see if I can track one of them down. We're looking for Kai Lang in particular. Damn it, sorry. He's here somewhere. He would be known associates. Oh, they're my associates. 
Organizations. Cerberus. Nope. Somewhere in here. Uh, he's in here somewhere. I, I have to find him. Somewhere in here. I'm just going to mark all of you to make it easier on myself. But we're looking for organizations. You should have something on Kai Lang. He's probably in the uh, in the computer. Because Anderson mentioned he was going to send what he had to us. Now the reason it's important is because you're going to be meeting up with Miranda later. And believe it or not, if you don't read the fucking index on Kai Lang... Give it a second. Kyling's dossier. There we go. So you have to make sure that you read all of this. Because you know he works for the elusive man. So if I exit, that should bring up Kyling's dossier. Oh, it doesn't. Oh yeah, no. Reading that's important, because if you don't, it results in Miranda's death, which is hilarious. Oh. Promise and I have fun and games in my cabin. That's going to be fun. Uh, Diana also wants an interview. Jack wants me to visit their obligatory. I just did that. A new alert or a new article on Cerberus. All right. Investigate Korlak and find out if he's a Cerberus mole. His information is at Spectre Office in the Citadel. I'll go check that out later. Uh, wants, Vega wants to talk and... I'm ordering Normandy to dry dock for needed repairs. Uh, sure leave. This is a DLC pack. We're going to save that for as late as we can. But yeah, let's go talk to people. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. Could help build the crucible. Maybe we could recruit them. Lots of Cerberus people think they're doing the right thing. I know I did. And you were right, Commander. Whatever crimes Cerberus is committing now, I was on Horizon when the Collectors attacked. Really? You'll recall I mentioned growing up in the Terminus systems. I was visiting my family at home while the Alliance was running studies. You were saving. Oh, you've got backstory. They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Okay, a whole lot of stuff to do here. Now they mentioned, um, give me a call to grab next to the cabin. So I think if I have to go, I think I have to go up to my cabin in order to trigger these. So we'll just head up there first and see what we get. Yeah, invite trainer. We'll do that, and then we get to invite uh, what's her name, Diana Allers. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. You want to try out this chessboard I got? Gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play. I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. Gooey interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? Well, this is a trap, isn't it? I'm just a simple lab scientist, Commander. I'm sure your real world expertise will give you an edge. Okay, this is actually cooler than regular chess, I think. Oh, come on. Of course she wins. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. Are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can 
take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and the Krogan? Two extra testicles? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Oh man, that that's not even a good line. And the other doesn't have a smart ass comma officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles. See that lines. great minds, man. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So rematch? Hell yes. It's always nice making new friends. Although, you can really make the shepherd a horn dog if you so felt like it. They give you so many options to, like, seduce every single member of the opposite sex, and even some of the same sex. Like, that that could be available. It's almost kind of ridiculous. Trainer, can you send Diana? She wanted an interview. Bioware games in general, I find, have that option. Like, I know Dragon Age has a lot of that going on. God, again? Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night, and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. Oh, uh, it's, it's awkward, because she's so very clearly modeled after a real person, so it's kind of hard to be like, I'll hit on this virtual character who's actually very, very similar to a real person. I don't know, like, so we thought weird anybody else out? Is it just me? Am I weird about this? But again, I have a girlfriend who's who's a superhuman badass. We're well, just gonna leave as professional. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Oh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. <laughs> the camera just follows him for a second. That's adorable. God, does everybody want a piece of me today? Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own commitment. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, Loco. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. You can lay off on the creatine, maybe. Shoot. What'd you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting Dude, I am three games in. I have no fucking clue what the N7 program even is. I just know it's a logo. the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. Well, I'd have kicked my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, 
I lost almost everyone, and they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I'm not going to ask him what happened. I'm sure it's something he'd rather not relive. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but if you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed. Either themselves or their soldiers. I'm guessing it's like a command structure. I think I should accept. Only you can make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. I'm glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Aggressive. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Thanks again, local. Anytime. I'm telling you, I've had three people up here in the last five minutes, and they've each had an invitation to the bed. It's weird. Okay, new messages, but... Ashley, welcome to the team. As you can see, she's got a few different appearances, and they are all the result of the mod that I downloaded way earlier. Hair is still pulled back in a bun. Not sure what armor I like the most, but I'm thinking I might go with the one that has the Alliance logo on it, because she is a Spectre now. And if we check her info, yeah, she's got a lot of abilities here. So if we cycle her appearances now, yeah, I think this is her very, very form-fitting sort of suit. Uh, I like this one the best, I think. What I want to do is I want to check her powers, but unfortunately I can't right now. Alright, where the hell would Ashley even be on this ship? Also, what? so this is the bathroom. I honestly played through this whole game last time. Did not know this place had a bathroom. I mean, I'm glad that it does, but I didn't notice a shower in there. Okay, so Ashley is somewhere in this place. We're going to have to look around until we find her. Uh, James and Cortez are here. Just going to check and see what we've got here. Okay, yeah, we've already been through all these. I mean, she's in engineering for some reason? Nope. Crew deck makes the most sense, I would think. Okay, Ashley is in starboard observation. So she's on my left. And Garrus is standing in front of me. Hey, there's Thane, bottom left. Anybody else, I'd say yes. I don't see how. We start killing our friends, and war turns into murder. But it doesn't always give us the easy way out, does it? At least Ash didn't have to join Kate. Let's hope he's looking out for us. This was his fight, too. Well, let's go talk to Ashley. So, outside of combat, she's going to have her unmodded appearance. In combat, she's going to have the hair bun back up. Good to see you. Really? Good to see you. Nothing? Good to see you. That's kind of disappointing, actually. Uh, nobody else really worth talking to right now, I don't think. Okay, that's everything here. Oh, God. Damn it. Every time I come back up here, there's always something new that needs to go off. Let's go talk to Chakwas. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? 
refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventory, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could fly your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medijar. Okay, there's a new mission for us. I think somewhere around here there was something for me to... Uh, oh yeah, no, the engineers wanted that, uh, that, that new coil thing. I forgot about that. It would be Adams, I think, who wanted that. Thanks, Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. So, how did I get volunteers to crawl through the ducts? You're the power control engineer, not me. Damn, all in here. Hey, didn't Adams say that all the Normandy is eating? Oh, come on, guy. <laughs> Isn't this the crawl space? Kenneth, you down here being weird? Stop being weird. Yep, yeah, nothing here. No more model ships. Alright, I think now we got it all sorted out. God oh, damn it, everybody wants a oh no, the war room is here. We just go this way. Commander. What hell does Anderson want now? Pose for a poster or something? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. That scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard, I meant what I said earlier about Kylang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. And there's enough. Okay, that didn't seem like much, but apparently it gave me reputation points, so I'm not gonna just wait, I'm not gonna discard it. But yeah, no, hopefully that's the end of it, unless Trainer's got anything else for me the second I walk through that door. Anything? Nope. Messages? Nope. Okay, so we've got a few different things to do now. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark all viewed. Mission summary. Okay, we got quite a few Citadel things to take care of. 
a bunch of new missions all over the galaxy we'll be having to go through. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to do these Omega ones, because I don't think we can even go back to Omega. But, you know, if we happen to find anything on the way. I got 12 points here, and when we four, five levels away from the end, from uh, maximum 60, I think. And look at that reputation, we're almost at max. Alright, let's um, pump a couple into overload. And cryoblast, why not? I should maybe I'll get incinerate up a little bit. Three and four is seven, that'll get it up a little bit higher. Increase damage. Okay. Look at that, we're nearly maxed out. Gonna quickly pop a save. And when we come back next time, more side questing! Dear God, will it ever end? Will it, will it ever end?